Kumaru Regmi. I was born in Bhutan and raised in refugee camp in Nepal. I was six years old when my family were forcefully evicted from their birthland. I vividly remember my parents and my grandparents talking about leaving the country to save their family lives. Imagine you are six years old, it's night, there is no light, and you have to walk many miles to reach to the place that you ever called your home. I spent the next 17 years of my life in refugee camp in Nepal. Life in refugee camp was very, very difficult. I witnessed many people's death, including children resulting from inadequate sanitation, lack of nutritious diet, and proper health care. Since I was a child, I felt compassion towards others. Seeing the death of children and people due to lack of proper health care was devastating. But I could do nothing at that time because of my refugee status and financial hardship. When I was in refugee camp, I heard that the United States is the land of opportunity. So when I started process with International Organization of Migration, I thought my dream of becoming a healthcare provider would come to reality. I came to this great country in January 2009. The country was in recession and there were no jobs. I found, I finally found a housekeeping job after five months of my resettlement while working as a housekeeper and supporting my family financially, I decided to do a certified nursing assistant training, which opened my door to enter the medical field. Currently, I am a nurse practitioner and I work in a long-term care, and I also teach at uh, State University of New York. I'm motivated to take this course to gain effective public speaking skills, boost my confidence, and overcome public speaking anxiety. My biggest fear as a public speaker is I fear that I'll be stared at. I fear how my voice will sound to others. This is, there's so much to learn from Mr. Collins' story. Listening the loss of family member, relative on a civil war, and almost dying from a starvation is devastating. It's heartbreaking. And uh, the other thing he said, he left Liberia with dollar five on his hand. To relate to Mr. Khan's story, I and my family came to this country with dollar twenty on our hand. What I learned from his story is that if we have determination and goals in our life, we could do many, many great things. Listening to what he had been through and now a mayor, it lightens my heart. Mm -hmm.